call Yada, Al Yawan Al Yawa, Baha Sham Hamashiach Yawasha, Salawam Yasara, Salawam Yasharwan, Salawam Yarawasalam, Salawam Taza Yawan. All praise, Most High God, in the name of the Anointed Salvation. Peace, Israel. Peace, Upright One. Peace, Jerusalem. Peace, Zion. My name is Wara. Matai Yawada, tribe of Judah. And here is yet another lesson. And the title of this lesson will be And the hair of his head like the pure wool. But before we get started on that, here goes my intro. Let's do this. About that time again. Israelites. Yeah. his head like the pure wool. Take a good look at that picture right there. You know where this is from? It's from the Super Bowl commercial a couple years ago. Why are these caucasoids portraying the most high as being a black man with an afro? Huh? I'm about to get into that. Just give me a second here, as soon as this cuts over. Let's get ready to do this. All right, Israel, here we go. And hair like the pure wool. This is my first video. As you can see, it's depicting a black man or a so-called black man, an African-American, is a Negro. And what is this on his head? It's an Afro, right? Yeah, that's an Afro. Okay, let me go into this next video with Morgan Freeman playing God. Why do they keep portraying our people as being God here? Let's see why. Let me fast forward this. There's a part in here where he says he's the creator. We go a little bit more here. These white people know who we are. They know who our creator is. They know what the father looks like and what the son looks like. It tells you in the Bible, the Holy Bible. This is from the clip Bruce Almighty, as most of you know. There's a part in here where he says he's the creator of heaven and earth. You don't have to take my word for it, just go watch the video yourself. Alright, here's my next clip here. I'm going to play that song for the ending here. Let's get to Wooly Hair. All right. Here's my pointer. What hair texture do so-called white people have? What hair texture do so-called Africans have? What hair texture do Native American Indians have? What hair texture do Asians have? What hair texture do Mexican Latins have? What hair texture do Negroes or black people have? What hair texture do Arabs have? I'm going to show some pictures here before I read these verses on the Father and the Son. And let's go to Google. I already have these on. Hair like wool. 
That looks like a bush right there. Look at that. Look at that bushy afro. That's black people's hair, right? Morgan Freeman right here. Just seen him in the video clip. There he is again. Look at his hair. Look at all this wool here. I don't know how this Caucasian got in here. I said hair hair like wool, Negro hair. They put a, a white boy in here. A Caucasoid. Another Caucasoid with blue eyes. Look at this wavy hair here. Negroes have curly, bushy hair. Jay Leno, what is he doing in there? His hair is straight. Okay, that's Yahweh Shai right there holding up the fake Jesus. Right here. Look at that one. This is a better depiction. Let's tap on that. Yeah, who's this guy? <laughs> An imposter. All right, let's get into the ethnic differences in hair. I'm just going to do a little bit of reading here. I did a video not too long ago on the three races classifications. There's three races on this earth. Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid. Here's a Mongoloid right here. Asian. It's not my words. You can go look up the definition. That's where it says Asians are classified as Mongoloids. We got Asian. There's something in here that I wanted to read. You got Hispanics also. I asked you in the beginning, what type of hair do these Hispanics have? They all look like they have straight Caucasian hair, except their hair is black. I'm going to go down here and read this part. This type of hair is wiry, but can often be dry because although African hair produces a lot of sebum, which is protective oil, the tight curls prevent, prevent the oil from spreading out evenly along the hair fiber. Asian and Caucasian people do not produce as much sebum. I wonder why that is. Asian and Caucasian people. Those are a part of the three race classifications in my prior video. Go check that out, Israelites. It's very important as to why I'm doing a video on your hair texture. Because as you know, when Asians are born, they're born with straight black hair, right? American Indians are also classified and Eskimos are also classified as Mongoloid. They have straight black hair when they're born. Have you ever seen an Asian born with blonde hair? No, but you've seen Negroes born with blonde hair before. They're called albinos. Eskimos, Native Americans, and Mongoloid groups usually have hair that is textured but straight. Caucasian hair comes in all shapes and forms, and it is not unusual to see curly hair or wavy-haired Caucasians. I didn't write this, nor did I post this on this website here. This is Google. I just went to it. They're just verifying everything that I've already previously brought out, Israel. There's three different types of races on this earth. There goes your Caucasian, your Caucasoid right there. Her hair is only curly because she curled it, but they're normally born with straight hair. It's either brown, blonde, or black, or even red. They're born with red hair also. Here we go. Those who have red hair have the least dense scalp growth in the Caucasian group, whereas blondes have the most dense scalp growth. And brunettes are somewhere in the middle. Look, red hair, blonde hair, and brown hair. Brown or black, it doesn't matter. Brunettes are brown or black. And this is all from your Google website, so they can't hit me on no copyright strikes here. Negro hair. Negro hair texture. Bam, look at those curls. One of the most noticeable things about your ethnicity ethnicity may be may well be your hair. The way your hair grows and looks depends on the shape and size of your hair follicles, which contour and form the hair as it grows and which are determined by your ethnicity. The thickness of hair depends on how many follicles my recording 
a person has in the size of the follicles. If your follicles are small, you will have thin hair. If you have large hair follicles, your hair is thick. Spirals and curls, remember that. I'm going to show you another picture about how Caucasian babies, Caucasoid babies are born. They're born with straight hair, blonde hair. These all happen to have blue eyes because I typed in blue eyes, but you can get my point as far as the hair. Red hair, blonde hair. I don't know what he's doing there. Curl because you curled it. They're born with straight Caucasian hair. Okay, enough of the little little babies here. Let's go to the Arabs here. As you can see, Arabs, I'm going to do a little reading here. About Arab world. Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Yemen. Or Jews. I don't know how Jews got thrown in there. Are Jews Arabs also? Hair shapes. Majority of them are curly or wavy because I, I'm seeing many Arabs, that don't make sense, because I see many Arabs who have straight hair also. How do you think are the original shape of Arabs or Jews? Because people say that Arab hair became curly after African admixture because African hair we know are curly. This is my pointer. Curly. You see curly right here. Curly. I'm going to show a picture of a uh Saudi Arab Emirate. Well, how do you abbreviate that? She's uh, an Arab. Look at her hair. Yes, it is wavy, but it's also straight. Long like Caucasian hair. And if it gets wet with water, it'll be straight. You can bet your bottom dollar on that one. What else do I have here? Okay, that's as far as the pictures go that I wanted to show. Let me go read some um, scriptures here, a couple of scriptures, and then I'll go to my Google page. Song of Solomon 5 here. His head is as the most fine gold. It's highlighted in green. His locks are bushy and black as a raven. Okay, we got the bush. We showed you the bush hair. That's uh, black people's hair, right? So-called black people's. Those are your Israelites' hair. Let me move on to, I don't think I want to go into the scripture right now that depicts the father as having woolly hair and the son having woolly hair yet. I'm not going to hit that just yet, but my Israelites already know where I'm going. You can see it here. I'm going to go out to my Google page here. I'm going to make this a quick video. It's already been about 13 minutes and get into the different hair textures. And I'm going to do a little bit of reading here, real fast. You can pause it and go back and check it out yourself, my people. Origin and etymology of Ulotrichus, however you pronounce that. New Latin, Ulotrichi, Trichi, division of humankind, having crisp. There goes that word, crisp or woolly hair. Woolly hair from Greek, Ulotrich having curly or woolly hair curly woolly you get the picture right that's one down let's go to woolly hair nevis woolly hair nevis classification i like classifications and external resources specialty medical genetics woolly hair nevis woolly hair nevis is a congenital condition in which hair in a circumscribed area of the scalp is kindled or woolly wool here we go with that wool again mass noun the fine soft curly or wavy hair forming the coat of a sheep goat or similar animal especially when shorn and prepared for use in making cloth or yarn they're talking about animals with woolly hair, but I'm talking about people with woolly hair. It all links up because the Negroes, so-called black people, are the sheep of the Most High. Therefore, we will have hair like sheep. Lamb's wool, spirals and twists of Negro hair. Abstract, the hair of the Negro, Bantu and related races takes the form of short curly tufts with an entanglement of interlacing world Horled and loop fibers and loose broken fab fragments. 
an absence of any orderly arrangement giving the hair its characteristic frizziness. Frizzy hair. Black people, when your hair get wet, it gets frizzy, right? The fibers are very variable in thickness and usually show breakage phases towards the free end. Now, our hair sticks up. It grows up like a bush or a tree. Caucasians, Caucasoids, and Mongoloids, if you have straight hair, it grows straight down like it's dead. Frequent fragmentation serving to keep the hair short in cross section, they are highly elliptical. That means a circle. Elliptical is a circle, like a spiral. Finer and thicker intervals, just visible to the naked eye, corresponding with the minor and major axis displayed where the fiber is twisted. That's a tangent line. Look up the definition of tangent. That means where two lines meet. Samples taken from the West African Negro. The Negroes are here. I've done a video that's proven that my mother, my father and mother are Negro. And I have Negro hair. My hair is curly. Negro and South African Hottentot. Swazi, that means black, and Zosa show no significant differences. That means they're the same. Those are the other tribes over there in Africa part of the 12 tribes on close study certain structural peculiarities are revealed which serve to interpret the characters mentioned and have a bearing upon the forms assumed by mammalian hair generally okay that's the last of that definition let's move on quickly here <clears throat> Salakia we're going to go into what hair texture does God have and what hair texture does Jesus have? A.K.A. Hamashiach Yahweh Okay. What hair texture did Jesus have? Yahweh Shai. Revelations 1 and 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. We are to describe what people have wool hair. Those are black people, Negroes. As white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Revelations 1 and 15, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. I shouldn't have to tell you what color he is. What hair texture does the Most High have? I'll you want all, the Most High God. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 tells us, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. St. John 14. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, shew us the Father? That's because Yahweh Shai looked just like his father, the Most High God. And no, Yahweh Shai is not the son of Joseph. That'll be another video coming soon. To all you Israelite camps out there that say that Reuben is the Native American Indians, right? And Issachar is the Mexicans. And Zebulon are Mexicans, right? Okay, let's go to the let's go to the wives of um, Jacob here. Jacob had four wives, as we know, right? Genesis 35 and 23, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulon. They all got the same daddy and the same mama. Why did Reuben come out looking like a Native American Indian, according to you so-called Israelite camps from one west? Why did Issachar and Zebulon come out looking like some Mexicans with the straight hair? Native American Indians, as I've already proven, they have straight hair black hair they're born with it just like asians are born with straight black hair have you ever seen an indian or an asian born with blonde hair no what about blue eyes or green eyes okay that might be a different story but we're going off the hair texture here the sons of rachel joseph and benjamin so if the most high divided the kingdoms in in um first kings chapter 11 he split the kingdom after solomon's sin and he sent benjamin to the southern kingdom and Benjamin and Joseph are blood brothers from the same father and mother. How is it that Benjamin would look like a Negro, but Joseph would look like some Puerto Ricans with straight, straight, long black hair, like Caucasian hair? How is that, Israel? Ask yourself these questions before you just go off believing everything you hear from these One West camps now. 
Genesis 35 and 25. And the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan and Naphtali. Where's the tribe of Dan at since you guys know so much, huh? Genesis 35 and 36. And the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad and Asher. So you claim that Gad are also Native American Indians. You got Reuben, Native American Indians. How is it Simeon, Native American Indians? How is it that these, these people have that are classified as Native American Indians have straight black hair, but the Negroes all have woolly, curly hair, crisp black hair. How is that, Israel? We rock afros, right? The Most High has an afro. His afro is pure white. So does the sun, Yahweh His afro is pure white. Let's get off of this madness that these people are Israelites. We can just go off of hair texture alone. This is almost concluded here. I'm going to go ahead and swing this camera on around and read something here for you. Matter of fact, I just put it right here in the front. The infected hair is yellow. This is the curse of Miriam back in Numbers. And we also go to Leviticus. The infected hair is yellow. Blonde is another word for yellow, not black. Asians are born with black hair and so are Native American Indians. The skin tone of Miriam was turned white. She was not turned yellow. She was not turned red. Edom was born red, not white. That's what the scripture says. Asians are yellow skin tone with black straight hair. Canaan predates or he came before Moab and Ammon. At least we can get into the time frame later. Let's go to Leviticus 13 and 3. And the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh. And when the hair in the plague is turned white and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh it is a plague of leprosy and the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean leviticus 13 and 30 then the priest shall see the plague and behold if it be in sight deeper than the skin and there be in it a yellow thin hair blonde hair then the priest shall pronounce him unclean it is a dry skull even a leprosy upon the head or beard these are all the scriptures here in Leviticus. Look them up for yourself. But let's get back down here to, let's go into the blue letter right quick. I want to hit Numbers 12 and 10. That was Song of Solomon's here. Let's see what I missed here. Let's go get wool. Let me go back to Daniel. Let me get into Daniel 7 and 9 and get, a, get an interlinear of the most high having hair like wool and it says hair of head hair of head here and the hair sa'ar sa'ar hair of head right here as plain as I can point at it hair of head it's talking about his hair literally says wool right no 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 commentary interlinear again hair of his head like the pure wool let's see what wool is in it's Aramaic Imar I Mar Ra Imara or Imar wool here here we go I'm pointing right at it. My finger's on it. Wool. So we know that it's talking about the hair of his head is like wool. And we can also go to the New Testament and to the Greek. To the book of Revelation. And get what the sun's hair is like. And it also says wool. I can guarantee it. You know how I know because I've already checked it. Interlinear concordance. The hair of his head. His head. Head, his hairs were like wool. Let's get wool. What does wool say? It, I don't speak Greek, but if you speak Greek, you can still see it says wool. What does the hair on his head, his hair say? The hair of the head, the hair of animals. It still says wool. It, no matter how you slice it or dice it or try to chop it up, it says wool. So we know that the Most High and His Son have hair like wool. Let's go back to Numbers 12, start at 10, and get the curse of Miriam. And the cloud departed. 
Let me get my pointer. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Numbers chapter 12, verse 12. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed when she cometh out of his mother's womb. That is not talking about, do not let her be red like Esau. This is not talking about Esau. It's talking about Canaan. Do I need to go back here and show you a picture of Canaan? What do the Canaanites look like? This is another lesson, but I'm going to give you a little piece right here before we get into it. Bam! And cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be until his brethren. Here go your Canaanites. Your blonde hairs, blue-eyed, Caucasoid devils. There they go, right there. Call me racist, call me whatever you want to, but the Bible is racist. It's identified who these Caucasians are. They're the descendants of Canaan. Let's go back. Let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Most High, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that let her be received in again. So if Miriam was turned white, does that mean that she started off white? No. White people will say that she was white, she just turned whiter. No, I don't think so. We got Miriam and we also have Moses. Moses right here in Exodus 4 and 6. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as slow as snow. And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. What color was his other flesh? It was brown. You see this brown here? Light brown, dark brown, however dark he was. But in order for, have you ever seen an albino? Black people turn white when they lose their pigment. It looks like they've been caught on fire. You would look at somebody that's black and losing their skin color and you would think they got burned in the fire. No, they have been cursed. They're turning white. The Most High has stricken them with leprosy. You Caucasoids, you Caucasians are clean lepers. According to the scriptures, I've just given you all the scriptures, Leviticus, Numbers, and Exodus, Daniels, and Revelations, and Song of Solomons. Come on, let's not make this harder than what it is. It's very easy. The Negroes are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the chosen of the Most High God and His Son, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Done, data. All right. Let's get this through your bushy afros, my black people, my Israelites. All you other nations, you have straight hair. Various colors, but straight hair. Us Negroes are born with afros. Our hair grows straight up like bushes. Okay. This concludes my lesson. Check out my previous video on three race classifications. It will explain more about the three races on the face of the earth. Then we go into hair texture. What hair texture does the Most High have? What hair texture does His Son have? It says in the Bible that they have hair like pure wool. Black people have woolly hair. How many times must I say it? Before I go, I'm going to leave you with this tune here for Babylon. Let's go. War Rock, signing out. All praise the Most High. Call Yada. Al Yawan Al Yawa. Baha Sham Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Who are the ancient Moabites? Coming soon. Building my case here. I'm leading up to it. 
you Native American Indians and you Mexicans, you are not Israelites. It's way too late to say sorry too late. Shalom, Israel.